Hey guys, welcome to one more video which is about uh, balanced brackets of hacker rank. So this is in the data structure stack category. So the problem statement is a bracket is considered to be any one of the following characters. This is called parents, this is called braces and this is called brackets, right? These are all considered brackets for this example. So two brackets are considered to be matched pair if the an opening bracket that is uh, this one occurs to the left of a closing bracket of the same type and uh, a, matched, a matching pair of bracket is not balanced if the set of brackets it encloses are not matched. For example, this uh, one is not balanced because the contents in between these, uh, these outer two braces are not balanced. As you can see, uh, he, uh, here we should have got the right parents in, instead of uh, the bracket. Okay, uh, let's try to solve this problem. This is a classical stack uh, problem uh, which we can solve using stacks. Okay, so the inputs are like uh, there will be the number of test cases followed by uh, the pair, uh, each test case and we have to output yes or no if it is balanced or not. Okay, so uh, already the input processing has been given in the hacker rank. We only have to write a function which uh, will take a string of uh, parents and uh, uh, return yes or no okay so how will we do that let's create a, st a stack okay of uh, characters and call it stk so we have the string s so while s dot uh, not a, we'll use a for loop for i equals 0 i less than s dot size i plus plus okay so if it is a left bracket any type of left bracket we will insert it in the stack okay and if it is a right bracket we will check if we have a matching left bracket on the top of the stack if it is matching we will continue if it doesn't match it means the uh, brackets are unbalanced and we will immediately return no okay uh, so what i mean is if s of i is equal to equal to let's say uh, parenthesis then we will push that into the stack else if s of i is equal to equal to this one okay this is auto completing uh, we'll do the same thing Uh, instead of writing whole if or else's we can simply join it using one sentence in the same thing only if or this or this we will push it into the stack else if s of i is equal to equal to uh, your right parenthesis and uh, stk of top the top element that is there in the stack is equal to equal to this one then we have a matching pair and we remove the uh, top of the stack okay and we increment uh, the size anyways the increment is being done in the for loop itself so we just only have to uh, uh, pop the stack okay so this will basically pop the uh, topmost uh, left parenthesis or uh, s of i i will copy this is a brace right brace 
and the top of the stack is left brace then also we will do the same thing or if it is a right bracket then also okay or in the worst case it doesn't match what will we do we will return no so if it has successfully completed all the uh, iterations and if the stack is empty after uh, completing all the characters in the uh, string after processing all the string and we have uh, uh, got balanced in that and the stack is not empty that is there are no left or right uh, brackets left uh, in the stack it means that the uh, the string is fully balanced so in the end condition we will check dot empty if it is empty then we return uh, yes else we return no right so basically if uh, the stack is empty it means that the parentheses are balanced otherwise it is these are not uh, balanced okay let's uh, try to run the test case Uh, oh, there is one compilation error in which I had forward to write int in front of that. Expected 16. Okay, here also I have forward error. Right. I will run again. So, the sample test case has passed. Let's submit the code. there is uh, error somewhere okay uh, if else Okay, the only thing we missed here is uh, before checking the stack dot top, we have to make sure that the stack is not empty. Okay, okay. dot empty empty and the condition here. Okay. Should be not empty. 
so yeah that's it for this video uh, to iterate again uh, before checking uh, if this is a left bracket then we push to the stack uh, if it is a right bracket we check if the top of the stack is the opposite of that bracket if yes we pop the stack otherwise uh, we return no okay and uh, if the, all the iteration of the characters are complete and we have the stack as empty then we return yes else we return no okay that's it thanks for watching hope you like this video if you did like do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you